All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Timber and Stone. We're on day 33, done. Um, we're continuing to work on our wonderful granary. People are still off gathering resources. We have a bunch of lumber coming in. Uh, I just leveled to a level 18 herder. I don't know why the herder levels so slowly. Now, it feels like I've been herder for a while. But then again, I mean, I did get for Forager up to rank 17 before I swapped, so... He definitely would have been 20 by now if he would have just had a single job. And that's the way I also prefer to play this game. I don't necessarily enjoy bouncing back and forth every single time for a different, you know, job. Why is that being timber? Oh, it's supposed to be the plaster timber. Yeah, okay. I was really confused for a second. I totally forgot how I was even building this. Let's see here. Walls. Plaster timber. Now the nice thing about the plaster timber is one, it requires less timber than normal. So the, the benefits definitely are there to use this kind of building material. It just requires a little bit of extra stone to actually make the plaster we required. But I have so much of it at the moment, it's not even really an issue. And as you can see, our wonderful flattening project, well, it's pretty much taking shape. It's, it'll be probably completed by the end of this episode, if we keep at a good pace. And I think we'll be able to do that uh, fairly efficiently. Plaster again, keep raising up these walls. Kind of a slow and steady process. I think I want to take this up about, oh, I don't know. Let's let's take it up about uh, five blocks, I think, total. So we're at height level, but almost two right now. Walls, timber plaster. And of course, as we get higher up, we need to do the utility thing here and build scaffolding. Scaffolding is going to be a big part of this structure. Um, Probably just because there's there's no good way to get it at these corner bits without it. But I would like to get as far as I can without needing scaffolding. And then go from there. Actually, it looks like they can cross diagonally. So we might not need nearly as much as I thought, which is great. Because of that you do need just a little bit though because as the building gets taller and taller you need to be able to scale up with it you don't have enough inventory what are you carrying what are you doing build build until you die that is your job where are you? I don't know what he's doing. Construction. Looks like there's some building bits that are missing here. I don't know why. Ooh, a merchant. Oh, no path. Or is there a path? I don't know anymore. Apparently there is. Come Peruse my wares. Peruse. Peruse. Okay. We'll see what you got, guy. You'll see if you can give us any money for stuff we have. And then we might give you money for stuff you have, even though I don't plan on buying anything. Where's our trader at? being slow as always it seems 
<laughs> All these uh, little potholes are a little annoying. We're gonna fill those in eventually because as we get through our uh, building process and I go through the lower levels, those potholes are just gonna show through. Kind of make it look a little ugly. So we're just gonna fill these up with grass. And there we go. Oh, the trader's gone. We missed our chance. Trader, come back. Donkey guy? No, donkey guy. Okay. Bye. Nice seeing you. Wouldn't even let me peruse his wares. Rude. Come back to be a miner. This is actually starting to look pretty cool. It's very Minecrafty. Like, if, if you enjoy building in Minecraft, you'll enjoy building in this. Are you stuck up here? Okay, construction, utility, scaffolding. This is gonna be the issue. Definitely gonna be the issue. Let's, uh. Let's run you to a builder real quick. No. No, no. Uh, stupid miner. Save our other builder. Save him quickly. There is no time. There you go. Cool. Where are you going? Construction scaffolding. Let's just uh, do that real quick. Oh no, no. Celeste, come back here. You're gonna clear off that top a little bit. Finish your job. No. No. You, you are to mine. <gasps> Can't win. that when she is on a mission nothing's gonna get in her way walls timbered plaster so we may need to set up some type of path going around Let's just get it on top. Constantly try to get on top of the structure so they don't have to build using these sides and get trapped. Because I think that's definitely where the problem is going to lie in the long run. Oh man, this thing's going to look so cool. Get it done. Get it done. Construction utility scaffolding. Can can you not reach that one? Really? Dig mine. Get rid of these. There we go. That building is actually complete now. That other episode where I said it was complete, that was a lie. Just one big giant lie. You all believed me. You all are suckers. Sources. Let's check our wonderful plaster source here. I need to actually make more of this stuff. Just trying to make 40 more or so. Why? Why can't you walk to your desired target, man? Come on. Good. Object. Construction, utility, scaffolding. You need a scaffolding like this? Because I can do that. It's totally within my power. It shall be done, actually. There you go. If you can't get to the top of the tower now, I don't know when you'll ever be able to do that. 
Oh, it was like a race. Yay. Scaffolding here. Cool. Construction and walls. If anyone knows the hotkey to just uh, build vertically, let me know. I have seen people do it. They essentially click and drag like normal, but it just goes upwards. I wish I knew how to do that. That would be a wonderful thing. What is this? I don't have enough inventory space. I'm really confused by it. Do you need increased inventory? Room or something? What? Something like that? Maybe? I don't know what you need. Get off the wall, you guys. We're just getting each other way. Come on. Get do it. Snap, snap. I like games that really introduce scaffolding mechanics because it's, uh... When, you, when you're building structures like this, it really makes it believable that things are actually being done in a, in a realistic manner. Sure, gameplay-wise, it might be a little annoying, really, but, I mean, it, it, it's almost a necessary evil to make things fun, in my opinion. But I'm just weird. What, what would I really know? <laughs> I'm also going to carve some windows into this upper section, make it look nice and awesome looking. Maybe even some lower windows in those two areas. Now you'll also notice that uh, this section, uh, I'm going to keep it a low wall. I'll just put a little roof on it, make it all nice and tidy looking, pretty cute. Pretty cute. Construction walls. Timber plaster. Alright. Keep on doing what you're doing, guys. Uh, except for the whole blocking your friend up there. Oh no, you figured it out. Congratulations. You know how to walk. Sweet. So let's see how tall is that looking. Let's go to full control camera view. This way we can actually kind of see the scale of things. A little bit easier. Not bad, I have to say. Not bad at all. Maybe twice as tall, and we'll be able to get a nice little roof on it. Put a little fake-looking windmill blade, and call that building done. And I actually might end up running into a third episode, which is a shame. Or I might do a time skip this episode. I thought you guys want to see more than two episodes building the same thing, unless it's a castle. So probably just try and work that in I don't know yet we'll see how I feel walls plaster bloop, bloop. right Keep adding it layer after layer. Merchant has arrived. Thief has a trader. So let's get Celeste back here. Hopefully in time. Come on. There you go. Run, Celeste. Get us some money. The trader's going to beat you there. He's already passed all the guards. Where are you? You're almost arrived. 
Come peruse my wares. Last time you said that, you left. And now you're back. I'm trying to get us to peruse things again. Do we even want to peruse? Okay, so. They want 30... No, I'm not getting rid of all my leather like that. Try again. You, you want two gold for 97 string. Why not? I have so much string, it doesn't even matter. Next, nothing to buy. Probably nothing to sell here soon. We have made a total of two coins from this transaction. I have a feeling we've been uh, hoodwinked and taken advantage of. What else are you good at? Your green roots are permanent. Trader person. I'm gonna keep you there. We don't need as many miners right now, I don't think. As we used to, we're not we're not doing quite the hardcore strip mining that was initially needed. Whoop. But it will poke away at some of the exposed resources. So it's nice to get some copper and things of that nature. Let's see, what do we got? Yeah, that looks pretty cool. You guys are probably a little bored of me doing a bunch of timber plastered stuff. But it's not really late enough in the episode to do a time skip. So, sit down, relax, get some popcorn. It's what I would do. Maybe instead of timbered plaster, let's do full timber. And start working on a wonderful little thing here. What do you got? You guys just went up there, did a full circle, circle, and came back down. What are you doing? Don't do that. You have stuff to do. Oh, mind-boggling. Mind-boggling, mind-boggling. About to be dusk. And we're going to be on the 18-minute mark. So, in fact, here... Um, I guess I'm gonna do a time skip through the night and then uh, come back once the uh, windmill granary is completed. You guys can see how cool it is. And we'll end the episode there. So yeah, be right back. All right guys, this is taking a couple in-game days and I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty tired. So, um, what we got here is a bunch of scaffolding. And this is to try and finish off the roof. It was a bit of a complicated uh, structure up top, um, especially with the pathing that I had to try and get them to do to get up here. So I've been finding that for a couple days, and the AI was just like not having it. But that's okay. Um, the structure is pretty much done. We just need to add on the actual windmill blade, which I'm trying to decide if I want this to almost act like a blade for me. Um, you guys can let me know if you like that idea or not. Let's see, walls, we need full timber, four. I need to get rid of one of our builders because I feel like he's mainly just getting in the way at this point. What should I turn him into? Our food supply is still good. Don't really need another farmer. Hmm, don't know. I do want to see though. Yes, our farmers, uh, our blacksmith hit level 10. 
and I upgraded all tools to strong so we're just getting extra resources and they definitely don't break I don't think at all so that's really useful construction utility scaffolding Let's see if we can't get a layer of scaffolding at the bottom here construction walls for timber <clears throat> yeah, we'll see how well they w really want to build that. That'll be fun. Utility scaffolding. Can we put something there like that? That'd be cool. Maybe. You know, I get the feeling scaffolding is not going to work for the windmill blade. And that's perfectly fine. I just need to rework some areas here. Construction utility scaffolding. Yeah, something like that's gonna work. Totally. Ugh. I think that's the last episode I'm also going to record ahead of time, so there might be one day uh, of a gap of no episode. Uh, I apologize for that, but there's really not much I can do about it at this time. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I need to go to full control camera view so I can see the underside of this. shape. I just need to get some final pieces of scaffolding here. Oh god, wolves. We've been getting, getting raided by wolves a lot. And they just keep killing chickens. All the chickens are dead, pretty much. I don't know what these wolves are doing. But we got definitely plenty of problems with them. No, protect the chickens. Protect the chickens. Okay. A little bit of excitement for you at the end of this episode, for sure. Is this gonna get built? Or am I gonna need one more scaffolding layer? I think I need one more. That's totally doable. Real quick. Like that. And then I can go ahead and get rid of all these excess pieces. Because they are no longer needed. I do want to kind of use something to bring out more of a windmill blade look, but for now, um, I think this is a fair compromise for the time being. 
I mean, we have you know, four potential blades. Tall structure. It, <laughs> it looks a little little uh, squished, but that's that's all right. Just go ahead and take a look at it. It's not bad. I mean, just for an aesthetic building. I mean, really, it's uh, not bad at all. Uh, the blades will just need either lengthened by one uh, on all sides to make it just look a little bit more imposing. All right. So, thanks for watching. As always, if you guys feel free to check out my other videos and uh, see some cool buildings in those, the Medieval Engineers and uh, Space Engineers. We also played some uh, Stone Hearth. So that's a, that was a fun little series, except for some errors that we were getting. Otherwise, feel free to subscribe to the channel for more gaming goodness, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.